So today I want everyone to open up in their Google Classroom today's assignment. So our objectives are going to be, we're going to be able to create a model that describes how water diffuses throughout our cells in our body. And first we're going to be doing a collaboration board. We're going to be learning a little bit about osmosis. And then we're going to do a notice and wonder chart. And there's some scenarios we're going to work through. And then lastly, since you guys all requested it, we are going to do a Kahoot. So first of first, let's open up that Jamboard. So on your slide, you have a link that connects to Jamboard. Open that up for me. What is your favorite thing to drink during practice or while you're at a game? So you can grab a sticky note. On the left side of the toolbar, you can change the colors to say I want blue. Type in what is your favorite thing to drink while you're at the game, before you start, maybe after. What do you like to drink? Save it and then post it and you can move it all around the Jamboard. So we got a few waters. Some is really, really cold water. Um, I have some Powerade and then Berry Punch, Berry Punch Body Armor. Never heard of that. Okay, cool. So most of us like to drink either water or some type of sports drinks while we're playing a sport, right? Okay. So let's go back to our slides. And the next slide, let's learn a little bit about what our body actually needs. So our bodies are just filled with fluids. We have fluids in each one of our cells. Our bodies are made out of millions and millions of cells. Each one of those cells is filled with water. Around those cells is more water. Our body is made up of 60% of water. The only thing that's different about the water is we have sodium chloride or salt. That is dissolved in the, that water. That is electrolyte, and electrolytes are used for muscle movement, helps with muscle contractions. They're important for our muscle movement, especially when we're playing a game. The main thing is that water will flow from high water concentration to low water concentration until we are equal on both sides. So let's look at that, what that looks like. So over here, I have a cell. Say this is one of our cells in our body. It has a semi-permeable membrane. Inside we have water. Say so these waters are our blue squigglies. Outside we have water. But we also have those sodium ions, the sodium chloride, which I'm going to mark with the X. Now say I have more X's on the outside, meaning I have less water on the outside. Where would that water go according to osmosis? Now remember, osmosis is high to low. Where would that water flow to if it's going from high water concentration to low water concentration? Abraham, you raise your hand. What do you think? Inside you said inside? Where do we have the most water? On the outside? Okay. But I have more sodium on the outside, so I should have less water on the outside. If there's more sodium on the outside, I will have less water. If there is more salt on the inside, I will have less water. But what's the case? We have more salt on the outside. So where is less of the water at? Outside. outside. So we're going from high to low. Where are we, where's the water going from? Inside to outside. Inside to outside. There we go. Awesome. Now let's go to this next chart on slide six. Everyone has this on their slides. What do you guys notice about this chart? I want you to write maybe a sentence or two. What do you notice? Okay, Jeff has. What did you say that you noticed? I said this one on this song that was actually going in your body. Oh, good notice. So we see, he said that we split out less salt than what's actually in our body. Does everyone see that actually in our, in our sweat, what we sweat out is 1,100 milligrams, but what is actually in our body is only thir is, is way higher. 400 milligrams. Uh-huh. Is that a lot compared to what's actually in our body? No. No. Okay. Now, I want you to look at all the things that we notice about this. Now, what do you wonder? Type in what you wonder. What questions do you have now? What makes you think more about what you should put in your body? 
And remember that water always flows high to low. So we have an athlete, and he's working hard and sweating a lot, but isn't drinking anything. What might happen to the cells inside of his body? This guy, he's sweating a lot. He's working hard, and he's not drinking anything. What's going to happen to that cell? Where's the water going to flow? Out. So let's, I want you guys to take an arrow. You see on top of your toolbar, there's an arrow. I want you to draw the arrow where it's going to go. And we said out, drop it there, and then drag it. Show me where you think that water is going to go. Mm -hmm. So looking back, we said that electrolytes are really important for muscle contractions. So whenever you have a, um, a salt and water imbalance, that's what causes those, those spasms. Once we are all finished, you are finished, you turned in those slides. Go to Kahoot.it and let's log on real quick for a quick little game. Okay, true or false, during osmosis, water flows from lower water concentration to higher water concentration. False, it goes from higher water concentration to lower water concentration. Jalen's in the running. So, is sodium chloride important for our bodies? That salt electrolyte, is it important? Yes, it is. It helps our muscles move. It helps them contract. Jalen, ooh, Abram's coming in for the lead. Okay, what is the best drink to drink when it's 95 degrees outside for football practice? Water. Thank you. And if you chose Gatorade, Gatorade's cool, only if it's modest because we know there is salt in there. Water is the best. And the winner is... Dequez. Look at you, Dequez. The second place. Okay, Sean and Jalen, awesome job, doll.